And we got this dropping today. The AMD Ryzen 9 9950X3D benchmarks have leaked or announced or announced to have leaked or leaked to have announced. WCCF Tech is saying that, well, let's just get right to the scores here. WCCF Tech has uh, got this uh, screen grab of Cinebench R23 scoring 42,413 points in multi-core and single core is 2279 and that is for the 9950x3d that's for the monster <laughs> oh boy and as the screenshot shows uh it's slightly above what they achieved in their uh testing of the 9950x which confirmed the previous rumors that the performance of both the non-x 3d and the uh, 3D uh, X3D variants would have similar performance. So that's been confirmed. And single core, as the screen shows, you get 2279, which is also on par with single core results of the non-X3D variant. Uh, 3D Mark is showing 17,234 in max threads. What we got here? Yeah. Uh, which is comparable to the 9950X. The score can go higher or lower based on the test, but overall, it's a similar range. Uh, and then we'll, let's look at what we got here in the uh, hardware info screen here. We're showing uh, basically an average of 4.9 uh, uh, megahertz or gigahertz, I guess you could say, of 4.95 gigahertz at 1.1 volt one oh jesus christ 1.1 1. 1 point uh, 17 volts and then to hit its max boost it's going to 1.375 volts we see 5714.7 megahertz so 5.7 gig boost clock some of the cores are going to 5. Uh, 550 which still not too shabby and the uh, temperature ranges it hit only 76 c but here's the thing we don't know if this was liquid cooled or not but still that's freaking nice as one of the screenshots revealed the 9950 x3d can go up to 5.7 gigahertz on a single ccd the non-cached one the non xd while the X3D CCD goes up to 5.4 gigahertz, which is the boost clock of the 9950X X as well. Moreover, this is the first ever X3D CPU to feature a TDP of 170 watts, which was limited to 120 watts in previous generations. The processor is expected to launch on March 12th, and uh, it should retail for $699, according to rumors, I guess, and some of the early listings. The 9900X3D is expected to launch at 599 And that's not all when it comes to benchmarks. We've got the RX9070 series. The performance of the XT is supposed to be, as accordingly, according to these benchmarks, 42% 42 faster than Edna's 7900GRA at 4K. I'm liking this. This is what I like. I thought it was going to be equal, you know, a little bit comparable, 5 to 10%. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was so wrong there. First party numbers have been leaked, suggesting that the 9070 XT and the 9070, uh, 9070 are both significantly faster than the 7900 GRE. It'll be officially unveiled on February 28th, which is just a few more days. But before the company can show off the prowess of the RDNA 4 lineup, someone has already leaked benchmarks. The flagship RDNA 4 GPU, the 7900 XT, looks impressive on paper, even though the performance numbers are from AMD itself. Still, take these results with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to the announcement of the announcement and, the, and all that, you know, do -si do kabuki dance they've been doing lately. But considering how big of a uplift the 9070 XT and the 9070 Vanilla are bringing 
compared to mid-range GPUs like the G- GRE, 7900 GRE. Uh, AMD can take a shot against the NVIDIA, which is currently delivering nothing but disappointment. Oh, boy. Boy, NVIDIA really stepped in it now. <laughs> As per the slides seen by video cards, the, RT, the RX 9070 XT is roughly 38% faster than the 7900 GRE at 1440p and 42% at 4K. The data shows FPS performance differences with and without ray tracing and uh, doesn't include frame generation. This means the RX 9070 XT is a solid upgrade on native res over the 7900 GRE. If you compare the 9070 XT's performance to previous NVIDIA cards, the 9070 Vanilla comes out to be on par with a 4080 and 4080 Super. This was known from previous leaks, but this is one of the earlier confirmations that's more reliable. It's surprising to see what the 9070 XT delivers with um, delivers much better performance with RT compared to the 7900 GRE. While rasterization uplifts are also impressive, the RDNA 4 GPUs do look competitive to NVIDIA GPUs and ray tracing as well. So here's where we got a breakdown here. The XT versus the 7900 GRE 1440p, 38%. And this is uh, 30 games with ultra settings with and without RT. So we got uh, a 9070 XT versus the GRE at 4K is 42%. Uh, the vanilla 9070 is 20% faster than the GRE at uh, 1440p and at 4K just 21. The uh, 9070 on the other hand is also pretty impressive and delivers 20 to 21 performance uplift over the GRE. 7900 GRE at 1440p at 4K. Do keep in mind that the results can vary from game to game. As the leak slides, uh, AMD tested the 9070 XT against the 79 GRE across 30 games and found it to be 42% faster at 4K. The 9070 XT brings the same memory capacity as the 7900 GRE, but the architectural uplifts are massive. However, its pricing is extremely important here. While its direct competitor, the RTX 5070 Ti, is officially priced at $749 and still selling for around a grand, AMD must price it significantly lower to outperform NVIDIA on the GPU market and to, to do something about all the scalping going on. Unfortunately for AMD, the RTX 5070 Ti is hardly available mostly costing over a grant. You're right. Once availability goes back, availability goes back to normal, AMD may find it a bit difficult to beat NVIDIA just in case it prices the 9070 XT around 700. Now notice this key phrase here. Once availability of the 5070 Ti goes back to normal. And let's just say the less said about Nvi- scumbag NVIDIA and the 5070 50 series, the better. This slide says it all. And I'm just going to read the freaking headline. I'll drop the link in the, in the description, and you can have your way with it. NVIDIA is reportedly suppressing inventory levels for high-end 50 series GPUs as a move to market its SKUs. Ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We'll see you in the next one. And leave any, uh, go up, feel, feel free to sound off below, especially against NVIDIA. Because <laughs> they clearly, clearly deserve it. Good grief.